the only thing that really separates the distributor is their customer service. Customer service is the goal here at Tornos. Bottom line here is that Tornos give us the confidence to run those machines 24 hours without uh, any breakdown. It's, uh, not easier when you have a relationship like we have with Tornos. I have a lot of sympathy for the customers. There's a tremendous amount of new thinking that is very evident in Tornos. We have well over 120 years of knowledge in Swiss Turn within this organization in the U.S. That's what I feel is the key separation between Tornos U.S. and its competitors. The opportunity for me taking on as president of Tornos US was the ability to take a product that was very well respected within the industry and put a team of individuals behind it to give it more of a excellent product position with an excellent service position. The direction that we're trying to focus on is customer support. You know, when a customer calls in with a specific application question, uh, there's only so many people that are in the applications group because they're not grouped together any longer. Uh, you don't have 15, 18 guys working for the same division. What's happening is we're working at a good customer report. Tornos understands now that it's under new management. And they've really committed themselves to supporting the customer. Well, there are three different facilities for Tornos US to uh, better enable us to satisfy our customers' demands. So our goal was to move from what we call the corporate headquarters in Connecticut to three centers of excellence. One of them still in Connecticut, one of them in Chicago, and one of them in California. Each housing sales, service, applications, and parks. We got 12 hours that we can work with. Our customers on the West Coast could start calling Tornos at 5 in the morning until 5 p.m. This is our receptionist. Um, always a live person answers the phone. And during lunch, if Lindsay's away, then the call gets routed to the East Coast. Guys on the East Coast go home. Guys in the West still working. Something happens. They can send an email or call to a Midwest office. Same thing to the East Coast. They have uh, another service where it's called Direct Connect. Previously, Customers would look at their watch here on the West Coast and see that it's 2 o'clock and figure that due to the time change that the East Coast have already shut down and consequently they weren't able to get their question answered until the following day. Not anymore. Being able to have coverages in all the time zones allows us to have much better coverage for a customer's question or perhaps even just shipping a part, being able to help them in their needs. The Walmart facility is laid out in such a way where it's, it's really customer friendly. And you walk in and the first thing you see is our showroom where we do turnkeys, we have demos, um, we're able to show the equipment, and it's a presence right away of, of who we are and what we have to offer. The psychology behind having a clean showroom goes along with the fact that in Europe there's a lot of pride in the cleanliness and uh, organization of the shops over there. And we also have our main stock of inventory here in Lombard, so it's centrally located in the United States. What we have is the main spare parts stock, which is kind of like your extras, uh, allowing customers to have spares and backups. But we also have what we call a customer stock, which is for warranty calls and more for emergencies. And that's what is going to be maintained in each one of the three locations. The Connecticut office comprises of three different components. Wind Connecticut is almost identical size square footage, the same paint scheme, color scheme, carpet scheme, demo center. Because it worked so well in Lombard, we decided to mirror the same thing on the East Coast. We're putting effort into having a showroom, you know, machines on the floor set up continuously and trying to cater to the customer. In California, we are in partnership with North South Machinery, which is in Brea. It is still a top-notch, very, very classy organization. The machines are laid out just like you know, they would be in Chicago or Connecticut with the same attention to detail, the same type of tooling, the same type of inspection department. Tornos in the past has not had a West Coast facility, so the advantages are now we have uh, machines out here in the West Coast. We have three machines based out of uh, North-South machinery. Uh, we have three engineers. We could do test cuts, demonstrations, Training. Another thing that we're very proud of here in the showroom here in Southern California 
is the fact that we have the machines running in an air-conditioned environment and we even have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Uh, we do not spray oil all over the place. Consequently, we can put them in a showroom with carpet on the floor and not have any oil spraying around anywhere. Nathan Schwartzbach, a new young driver to the Rolex Sports Car Series in his early 20s and has done a good job. Kronos has continued to stay involved in racing. We feel that it first off shows the quality of the type of competition that's out with the vehicles as well as the type of competition that we like to build. Both of us are in high quality, both of us are in high accuracy as far as our markets. About three or four times a year we have major events across the U.S whether it be in Connecticut, Florida, Wisconsin, or California. We invite several customers to these events, both existing, new, potential, and at these events there's no discussion whatsoever of salesmanship of Kronos. It's to get them to feel the experience of how our team works. It's not the standard approach, you know, put the sticker on your car. It's giving benefits to the partners. It's the way Porsche builds Motorsport. It's the way Porsche built our own brand. And so we think this will be very successful. It makes it easier, it makes it comfortable. I mean, it's a, it's a great opportunity, I think, to be out with people and be able to, to share good times and at the same time sharing different problems you might have. And hopefully that will help them also to, to serve us better in the future. What we're able to do is actually have a classroom environment where we explain perhaps the software. And if a customer is having perhaps a little uh, trouble understanding it, we can walk right out to the machine and give them a practical application, practical demonstration on that particular point as it pertains to their individual needs. It's something that is extremely powerful. Every time they were quoting parts, trying to win the bids, we're quoting the cycle time, and we're selling machine time for our customer. So having that in mind that Tornos give us the confidence to pretty much uh, stay on the market, we can say uh, very successfully and uh, we're running those uh, lower prices that we bring more business to so dual pursuit. The commitment to the customer is phenomenal and especially it shows right from the showroom floor right on up to the personal interaction. We are very, very pleased. Before I felt like uh, they didn't give that name the, the respect and didn't show it the way it should be and now I feel like they are working very hard to, to put the word out. I will never enjoy or want to sit down having to tell a customer that the machine is going to be down tonight or over the weekend. We will do whatever we need to do to get that machine up and operational because we understand the cost.